Hi everybody, and welcome back to another Shearer Smokes. And you join me again on another beautiful September morning. And we're here at the Cheriton Brickworks, uh, which I was able to find. Uh, I mentioned it in my last video when I was down at uh, Lynn Mills. So I've came across the other side of the Devon, and this Devon is known as the Black Devon. And it was quite an interesting walk, and here's a little video just to give you an idea of that. <laughs> Cheriton Brickworks were founded in 1955. I've got my notes in my trusty Sure Smokes journal just to keep me right. So founded in 1955 and at the height of production they were making 28,000 bricks a day. And just behind me is what's left of the brick um, sellers I suppose. They used to store the bricks once they were fired uh, ready for shipping. And just over to my right um, where I'm sitting now is the uh, tall chimney where the Belgian kiln was used to fire the bricks. Uh, here's a little picture just to give you an idea of that. As you can see it's a, a very impressive structure. Uh, I took a little walk around and uh, I was able to actually get inside and uh, here's a little video and uh, some pictures of that. So as you can see, it's quite an interesting uh, structure and uh, I have here an example of what they were producing. And this is the famous Cheriton red brick. As with all brickworks, there was usually a, a coal mine quite close by and that's just the case here. Um, in this area there was a couple of coal mines and um, of course they had the benefit of the railway line and I'll pop a a little picture in uh, the video just to give you an idea of um, of how that looked. Um, it shut back in the 60s, I believe, and um, it's now a, a well-used cycle path. Um, but yeah, there's uh, lots of bricks lying about, and if you may remember, uh, in my last video I, I mentioned I met a guy who was out walking his dog who'd found a brick dated from 1872. As he said, there was like three or four brickworks in this area. And uh, I did a bit of research and uh, proving that the internet can be of some use. Um, here's a little uh, picture of, uh, of such a brick. So that one was found locally to this area, uh, which is quite interesting. Um, but uh, yeah, so Sheraton Brickworks, as I said, it shut down in uh, 1976 and um, the reason these sprung up, obviously, next to coal mines was because the slag that was brought up from the mines, that was what was used to then make the bricks. They were moulded in um, wooden moulds and then fired and then held in places just like this behind me um, before getting shipped out. And usually the process took about two weeks. Um, so yeah, and to imagine there was three or four such works in this area just shows you um, how much uh, housing was being built 
at the time. Um, there must have been some growth in the population. So uh, yeah, so interesting times. Here's a little inside look of what the, uh, I'm going to call them anyway, the uh, brick cellars look like from the inside. So yeah, so what better place to um, have a smoke than uh, outside one of the biggest chimneys that uh, <laughs> I've seen um, anyway. And this, it's really weird because this chimney, obviously the height of it, uh, dominates the skyline as you drive round uh, Clackmannanshire. And I've always wondered um, what it actually was, what the story was behind it. So again, really glad to have uh, made the effort to come in and find it and uh, learn a little bit more about it as well. So talking of chimneys, that leads me on to what I'm smoking today. And uh, the pipe first of all is my Peterson Rusticated Tankard. I just love the shading on that and the uh, rusticated finish. Um, it's nice and light, it's great to hold, perfect when I'm out and about on my travels. And uh, in the bowl I've gone for, and I'm hoping I'm going to pronounce this correctly, Ali's Perfection Plug, uh, which is all burly. It's a cube cut. Uh, which is quite interesting and uh, as you can imagine with that burly it's got that full nuttiness coming through which uh, I just seem to love especially in the outdoors it just seems to work uh, really really well and I believe that perfection plug is something that you can mix with other tobaccos uh, to give your yourself a, an individual blend and um, that's something I've not done um, so if you've done that yourself and had uh, great results then uh, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, that would be nice to hear if you've had any success with that. Um, but yeah, it's uh, the sun's came out again, and uh, it's just a great place to be. Uh, it was well worth the walk, as you saw in the video, um, crossing the Black Devon. And um, yeah, it's nice and peaceful and quiet. I'm going to uh, chill here, have a little wander around um, after I finish this. Um, see what else there is to see and if I find anything of interest I shall uh, pop it in in the pictures at the end of the video as always um, but yeah thanks for uh, coming along on this little uh, adventure today and um, hope you've enjoyed a little bit of local industrial history and until next time as always thanks for watching my name's Shearer enjoy your smokes <laughs>